What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And hopefully, as you can tell by the background, I am now the proud owner of an Xbox Series X and a PlayStation 5. And I am experimenting with these consoles, I'm playing a bunch of games on them, I'm working on official individual reviews for both of them. But this is a bit of a public service announcement. I want to say right here, right now, you do not need to upgrade right now. The scalper situation is completely out of control. The availability for these consoles is at an all-time low for any console launch of all time. Do not pay these scalper prices, and let me explain why. First off, let's talk a little bit about this scalper situation because it's pretty well insane at this point. We are seeing PlayStation 5's digital or disc version selling for $899, $999, $1,050. $1, I saw somebody claim on Twitter that they found one locally and paid 1200 bucks for it. Um, you got Microsoft Series X's selling for 820, 854. You've got Series S's selling for 489. That's a huge ripoff for the Series S. Honest to God, uh, I get it. I understand that this is the world we live in, that if you're able to pick up a few of these or get a, a robot that's able to get a pre-order and then you can sell it for a profit and someone's willing to pay for it, hey, get that bag. I get it. I understand it. I disagree with it. It's not a way that I would want to make my money, but it's 2020. Like, how, however you need to survive, I'm not going to judge. The problem is, when it comes to scalpers like this, if there was nobody willing to pay that premium price, then they'd have no way of selling it. There are a lot of people out there who are willing to pay twice the price of a PlayStation, twice the price of a Series X, twice the price of a Series S, which is mind-boggling to me. Uh, and and I, I genuinely don't think you should, and here's why. Console launches have been fairly weak in the past. Sometimes we don't see must-play games that you can't play elsewhere. That we don't see exclusives or we don't see cutting-edge graphics for that game system. And I have to say the PlayStation 5 launch is one of the worst launches in PlayStation history when it comes to exclusive. I mean, there are a lot of PlayStation 5 games that you can play, but you can also play the vast, vast majority of these games on PlayStation 4. If you already have a PlayStation 4, there's no reason to upgrade if you just want to play one of these games. When it comes to games you can exclusively play on the PlayStation, you have Astro's Playroom, which is kind of just a tech demo. It's a pretty good game that comes free with the PlayStation. You have Bug Snacks, but Bug Snacks is a playable on the PlayStation 4. Ratchet and Clank, that's not out till next year. You have Marvel's Spider Man Miles Morales, but that's also playable on the PlayStation 4. You got The Pathless, which is also available on PlayStation 4. And then you have the Demon Souls remake, which I guess is the system seller for this launch lineup. But then again, it is also a remake. You have to be a pretty big fan of Demon's Souls, and you can definitely wait to play this game since Demon's Souls has been out for a really long time. This is just a remake of that game. When it comes to exclusives for Xbox Series X, it's even darker. I mean, that launch lineup is Forza Horizon 4, which is a two-year-old game, Gears 5, which is a year-old game, Gears Tactics, which is newish, Grounded, which is still in early beta, and Ori and Will the Wisp, and all of these games are playable on the previous Xbox as well. So there's no reason to upgrade. There's no exclusive on the Series X that you can only play on a Series X that you can't play on PC or Xbox elsewhere. So basically, there are no exclusive games you are missing out on. And do not get me wrong, when it comes to load time, when it comes to graphic quality, when it comes to the UIs, these are some pretty major upgrades, and we'll talk about those in the reviews. But as it is right now, you're missing out on zero game exclusives, unless you count Astro's Playroom, Sackboy, things along that lines. I mean, if you're a big Gears 5 fan, it looks way better on the Xbox Series X. If you're looking to play... Uh, a Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it looks amazing on the PlayStation 5. It's worth the upgrade there, but it's definitely not worth a premium of paying twice the price of the console. In fact, I think it's safe to wait even if you find one in retail price. You do not need to upgrade right now. Trust me. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. If it will bring you some amount of pleasure to buy the PlayStation 5, to buy an Xbox Series X, and you have the money and you're willing to pay the price, absolutely do it. Whatever sparks joy in your life, you deserve that right now. The world's a nightmare. 
But if you're someone who has fear of missing out and you're afraid that if you don't get a console right now, you may never get one, don't worry. They're producing many more and they absolutely will and you'll be able to get one at a retail price. I promise you. And if you're afraid that you're missing out on video games, the good news is you're not missing out on much of anything until February or March of next year. So relax. It's going to be okay. You do not have to pay a scalper unless you really want to. Now, that's just one man's opinion. I could be wrong. And I know you're going to let me know down in the uh, comment section below. While you're down there, drop a like on this video. If you've not already subscribed, I would love it if you did. And we'll have more videos like this coming up soon, including more Francis videos as the holidays come. We'll do some console reviews. We'll do some comedy sketches. And we'll have some fun. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much. And I'll speak with you again soon.